all of, all of those uh, statements about what I say are often fabrications of the media rather than what I've actually said. So we lived in Egypt until I was, uh, you know, nearly 12 years of age. And um, he educated me um, with the lo in the local, you could call it, I suppose, the local temple. And I was very anti anything to do with war or soldiering. And so uh, my father and I, from, from a very young age, we entered into what you would call a major disagreement. My I was going to be a saviour of a kind, um, but only in the sense that um, I would be able to share with people what God's truth was about God and having a relationship with God and also the development of the human soul into a place of a more loving condition. My mother had a child die as well uh, in childbirth, so um, there's a total of nine children. But, um, but yeah, so yeah, I had a brother, James Thomas was also my brother. I had a number of other brothers. One was named Judas, but not the Judas that, uh, you know, that was involved in the so-called, uh, you know, betrayal of myself. You could say he became a believer in what I was teaching after my death. And uh, he was quite, he, he was quite distraught about how the Sanhedrin eventually treated me. And this is why. And this is why. And this is why. And, and I have no intention of covering over any truth because I do believe that truth is what saves humanity. The truth about uh, why God created us and where we're headed and where we came from and, and the truth about life after death was a big part also of what I was trying to teach in the first century.